In this video we're going to look at the distributive property and then we'll have to add numbers to simplify at the end. So we'll do uh, these examples. I'll, uh, so let's start with example 1a. Please uh, write it down. So we've got negative 3 uh, times 4a minus 1 and then subtract 5. Okay. So write this one down, negative 3 times 4a minus 1, then subtract 5. So to do this, what do you think we should do first? So, I mean, we're simplifying an expression here. Um, I guess kind of got to think about PEMDAS. But inside the parentheses, 4a minus 1 won't work because they're not like terms. It's 4 apples minus $1, OK? So you got to notice that these are not like terms in here, okay? So we can't take four apples and subtract one dollar. I mean, that doesn't work. It, they're just not like terms. You could take four apples and subtract one apple. That would be three apples. So my point is you could take four apples and subtract one apple. Sure, that would be three apples. But you can't take four apples and subtract a dollar because it doesn't make any sense. You can't add or subtract with things that are just completely not like at all, right? So they're not like terms. We can't do anything inside there, but we do have a multiplication. And we have, you see, we've got negative three times this. So we, we do that now first, okay? So multiply negative three into here and here with the distributive property and see what you get. What's negative 3 times 4a? And then it's negative 3 times negative 1. So write down that. Negative 3 times 4a is negative 12a. What's negative 3 times negative 1? That's a negative times a negative, isn't it? Just write it down. Give the sign. you got to give the sign because we're adding and subtracting stuff here. So it's a positive number, isn't it? Because it's negative times negative gives positive. So plus 3. Right? And so we've done the multiplication and now we write down the rest of the problem and the all we have left is subtract 5 okay so here we we do have we can add like terms I mean we have negative 12 apples but we do have plus three dollars and then minus five dollars right so we can add the dollars together or the numbers right so what will the final answer be so what's plus three minus five and again if you like you can change that to plus negative now it says plus positive 3 plus a negative 5. Positive 3 plus a negative 5. 3 positives, 5 negatives makes negative 2. And just write down negative 2. See that? And we have negative 12a. Now you can write negative 12a plus a negative 2. Or you can just, even simpler, negative 12a minus 2. Same thing, right? So negative 12a minus 2 would be the final answer there. So what I'd like you to do is press pause, write this one down, and do it all by yourself, and then check the video and see if you got it right. It's negative 4 times 2a minus 5, and then subtract 3, okay? So please press pause, write the whole thing out, and do it yourself. Okay, I hope you press pause and tried it. I'm going to do it now. So again, inside the parentheses, we have not like terms. I mean, we can't do anything with the 2a minus 5. What's 2 apples subtract $5? I mean, it doesn't make any sense. If you had two apples and you subtracted five apples, that would be fine. You'd be in debt by three apples because you're adding apples together. But how do you do two apples minus five dollars? You know, you can't do that. They're just not like terms, right? Of course, if you had two dollars minus five dollars, that would be fine because that would be negative three dollars, right? That's okay. But we have no, we don't have like terms in here, so there's nothing you can do. But you can apply the distributive property with the negative four, and you multiply it now. See, negative four times this and this. Negative four times two a gives what? It's a negative times a positive, so that's going to be negative number negative eight a. What's negative four times negative five? That's a negative times a negative. What's that? Negative times negative, positive twenty, right? And at the end, we have subtract 3. Okay, so write that out. And now simplify your answer. So we do have like terms now. We've got $20 minus $3. What does that give you? 17, right? 
and we have negative 8a. So, and by the way, that's positive. So don't be afraid to put the plus sign. You need that to separate the terms. You need a positive or a negative sign to separate the terms. It's negative 8 apples plus $17. Negative 8a plus 17, right? So example 2a, um, please write it out. Negative parenthesis x plus 3 minus negative 1. Okay, write that out. And we'll do it together. Negative parenthesis x plus 3 minus negative 1. So again, inside the parenthesis, I've got an x plus 3. And again, of course, these are not like terms, so we can't add them together. Okay, x's and 3's are not like terms. Like if you had x plus 3x, that would be fine because that would make that's 1x and 3x, that's 4x's. Okay. But x plus 3 cannot be added, okay? It's just x plus 3. Not like terms, okay? So, um, on the outside of the parenthesis, we have a negative sign. And we went over this, that that's like subtracting this whole bag of stuff. How many bags do we have, you know? Because here we kind of had 4, we're subtracting 4 bags, and so we multiplied everything by negative 4. Here we had 3 bags, we're subtracting 3 bags, so we multiply everything by negative 3. Here, how many bags do we see? How many bags of x plus 3? How many? So it's kind of like there's just one there. So you can write in negative 1 times that if you like. It's subtracting one of those bags, subtracting that one thing, right? So we multiply everything by negative 1. And what do we get? Negative 1 times x, negative 1x, or negative x, same thing. What's negative 1 times plus 3? Is the sign positive or negative? That's a negative 3, right? Then we have minus negative 1. When you see negative, negative, what can you do with that? It's subtracting a negative. Subtracting a negative. How, how can you simplify subtracting a negative? You can go plus, plus. So plus positive 1, or just plus 1, right? Now, can you add like terms? We've got x's and numbers. The numbers are like terms. So we have minus 1x, or negative x, same thing. Negative x, negative 1x, same thing. And what's negative 3 plus 1? 3 negatives plus 1 positive. You're in debt by $3, you add a dollar, and now you're in debt by only 2. It's negative 2. Or you could change that to plus negative. It says negative 3 plus 1 makes a negative 2. Um, you could have written this negative x plus negative 2. That's also correct. But um, negative x minus 2 would be the simplest way of writing it. Okay. But of course, negative x plus negative 2 is also correct. And I don't really mind if you want to write that way too. So Just if it, if it seems easier for you. Anyway, um, 2b negative parenthesis, write this out and do it all by yourself. Negative parenthesis 4x plus 5 minus negative 2. Write the whole thing out, do it all yourself. Negative parenthesis 4x plus 5 minus negative 2. Okay, please press pause, do that one all by yourself and then check the video to see if you got it right. Okay, I hope you press pause and give it a try, and it's okay to make a mistake, especially on the videos, because that's where you learn, okay? So we're subtracting this entire parenthesis, all of that. And, uh, like, the, remember parentheses are kind of like a bag, right? Remember we talked about that. Um, like, Kevin, if you had, um, you know, A plus B in parentheses, that's like having an apple and a banana contained inside of a bag, okay? And if you put the number 10 here, that means 10 of those bags. 10 here means 10 of those bags, so it's 10 apples and 10 bananas. We went over that, right? Now, outside of this bag, we just have a negative sign, but there's no number. Like, there's, it's not 10 or it's not 2. So how many bags do we have? How many bags do you see there? All right, so you just say, well, there's just one bag of stuff, one group of, of things. So you can put the n number 1 there. And of course, there's a negative sign, so it's a negative one. Subtract one of these bags, right? So you multiply everything inside here by negative one. So negative one times 4x gives negative 
4x. Negative 1 times positive 5 gives negative 5. Then we have minus negative 2. You know, you can write that out as if you want to, like that, and do that next. That's fine. So minus negative 2, what can you do with a negative negative? We can change it to plus plus. Okay. So now it says negative 5 plus positive 2. So if we add like terms, what does negative 5 plus positive 2 make? 5 negatives, 2 positives, negative 3, right? And you can just write this down, negative 4x minus 3. And that's the answer. Of course, you might have had negative 4x plus negative 3, and that's okay as well. If you want to write your answers like that for now, that's fine, just to help you understand it. But negative 4x minus 3 would be the simplest way to write the answer.